Good day farmers, welcome to Obit Farm. We are at it. We are building our chicken coop. Some people asked me the dimensions, so I decided let me just make a video to explain the dimensions and what we are doing and how much it should finally cost me once I'm finished this. So this is for those people in Zimbabwe who want to try to do something of the sort. As you can see, it is divided into two. One side, which is for the broodery, which is at the far end. And this other side, this is where they will stay, the chickens, once they've left the broodery. So this is, the total length is 12 meters. It's 12 meters long by 3.2 meters. That is the length and width of this construction of this chicken fowl run. So we are expecting to at least put up to about 250 to 300 maximum if we're saying that we are fully wanting to utilize this building. Now, the things that I need to tell you and you need to see is what is entitled into making this, this construction. First and foremost, we need bricks. The bricks that we are using here are farm bricks. So this means that these have been locally made, which close by. This reason meaning close by is for us to reduce on transport costs. That also means that if they are being made locally, it means that we also need to be able to, to if you want to reduce the cost, you will also need to be able to, to either make them yourself, if you are not able to make them, purchase them. So if you are purchasing them, they're going to cost you each about four cents four cents each which translates to almost 35 dollars per thousand so we have purchased three thousand bricks which you can see which have got about an additional few left there and that means it's 105 dollars that we have spent on the bricks alone after we purchased the bricks these thing, things like cement, cement we have purchased 32.5, um, the quality which we have purchased 30 bags we at $10 each means that we are going to spend $300 for the cement. Cubic stones that we have purchased, we have purchased two cubic stones which are going to be the ones that are going to be used for the floors. So the floors we have purchased, two cubic stones which is about $100. $20 for the cubic stones river sand for me likely it's for free because we do have river sand available on the farm and then pit sand it is free but for those people who are who will need to purchase it I am not going to lie it's about $40 to about $40 $50 per each load but if we're going to say that to ourselves they just say that eh, about $40 per for the load so you will need probably two to three cubic of, of pit sand and three cubic of river sand for this project to happen the other thing is we obviously have brick force which has already been used in the walls so that we make sure that we buy and um, we make sure that the the bricks do not tilt or fall you will need probably about ten dollars for that ten to fifteen dollars for that then we start with important timber Timber in Zimbabwe is one of the most expensive things. I don't want to lie to you, just this timber on its loan, one running length of this is about, for six meters, it's about $7.50 each. So for timber, I don't want to lie to you, timber unless if you go, even if you buy the round poles, unless if you can find it locally whereby you're getting it straight from the manufacturer, that is when timber becomes very cheap. But if you're going to have to buy it from the sh from the people on the street and all that, timber poles are about seven dollars each to get them to where you need. So the numbers that you will need for this timber, you will need about a good sixty dollars for this timber. This house has got also one window frame. The one window frame is at the broodery section. The reason I put a window there is because I wanted to make sure that we have we are also able to ventilate using window. So over there you will see there is a window. The window, I don't want to really disturb the builders who are building, but there is a window that is in there in that corner. That window frame cost us, what, 15? 15 dollars just to buy for that one window frame. Now we have got the door frames. These door frames, some of them are recycled, but for because we remove from one structure to the other here on the farm so i can tell you that this one has been repossessed from somewhere along on the farm 
and this one is the one that I purchased brand new. Um, this is about each about $22 for the window frames. The same price is also the same for the for our um, that is also the same for the door frame between 20 to 23 dollars is the cost for the door frames here we have got two one for the brooder one for the for the inside to get into the into this into the um, into the chicken house we have mesh wire as you can see there are two types of wire if you if i come here closely you will see that there are two types of wire mesh there is this one with the bigger holes which you can see this one the first one it's got big holes and then there is the smaller mesh which is at the back so these are two different meshes one is for to make sure that snakes and birds do not get in and secondly this the one that i've put at the front is to make sure that it is stable all the time so that if one if one fails the other one doesn't fail we have at least both like one protection on top of the other because the mesh that we get in the small one is not very strong like they used to make before this one sooner or later i know is going to start failing very very soon it will start failing so that's why i've bought two different meshes so the one for the big one is almost like between two dollars per meter and the, um to two dollars fifty per meter and the roll is about sixty dollars for the small for the small hold mesh so one would be about sixty dollars and the other one fifty dollars for this whole structure so then we come to another thing that is expensive the roofing sheets the roofing sheets this is actually the lowest grade of roofing sheets that is being made in zimbabwe it's the cheapest roofing sheet ibr sheets that we have in zimbabwe which is about ten dollars per sheet but as i said no one is going to be standing on top of this structure so i do not have any problem and the whole thing is just make sure that the structure is is made sure that it is always safe even for the birds that's the major thing as you can see it's not yet finished but by today end of today it would definitely be completed because of the sheets the sheets will have cost us about 170 dollars that means 17 sheets have gone into into this project to make sure that we we do all these sheets now after that sheets then there is the labor for constructing this this um this structure now structure it cost me about 120 dollars that means that the person is doing from start to end themselves i do know the builder i know how their quality of work is that is why i'm not worried about making sure that that one builder starts and finishes this project in other places it would be very difficult for you to do it but i know that he's able to do the um, and also i try to make sure that there are certain things if i'm not if i should be around when they're being done so that we are in agreement so therefore nothing shocks me when I do pitch up or I do appear here, nothing pitches up. So those are the things that are available. So these are the few things that make this structure what it is and what we expand this. Now, there are also additional things that which we consider and we put in others. These are the nails, the transport. And you, there's also things that I didn't put into the price, like these poles. These poles needed to be factored in. For me, I was lucky where I found them we have the price that i did find them but these things are not very cheap if i'm correct if i was to go buy this brand new this one pole should cost me close to about 50 just for one i'm not saying for two but for one but when i managed to get them this is was second hand you go look for places where they sell second hand scrap you will find these things cheap so therefore this is where i managed to get these poles at and i managed to strike a good bargain for these second hand poles so these are the advantages that you sometimes need to do. You need to do a little bit of hustling and a little bit of trying and everything. The most expensive thing here in Zimbabwe is transport. Depending wherever you are staying, it's going to be a factor on how much you're going to be able to, uh, to transport these things to here. The bricks, I had to transport them using local means of transport because they were at least close so it, it, it the price did not then hurt me much but the things which obviously your cement your door frames your your the sheets all these things need to be transported 
So there are the things that are going to cost you. So it's going to be roughly for me, after I've done everything calculated, it's going to cost me about $180. Those are for the things that I'm looking at. So all in all, this structure which you are seeing right now in front of you, by the time I'm finished, hopefully by the end of this month, because I'm also looking at those chickens moving out of there into here, if they don't, I'm going to have to move them into the gazebo for the time being. But for them to come to here, I am looking at spending close to $1,350. That's the amount of money that I am looking to spend. There you have it, farmers. That is what would roughly cost you to build this kind of structure here in Zimbabwe. I hope I have been able to give you heads up on everything that is needed to making sure that this is done. Um, and... As I said, this is as true as it gets. I am not going to sugarcoat it, try to lie to you, or try to make it seem. But those are the prices that I'm going to that I'm using, and this is what I'm purchasing for. Obviously, where you will be will be determined by the things that you then do. But for me, this is about one thousand five, one thousand three hundred and fifty to one thousand four hundred by the time I finish. Thank you very much for watching and liking, and I will definitely give you more information as we go along. Have a good day.